everyone, Neil from Modo here. On today's episode of the Energy Academy, we're going to be explaining the difference between behind the meter and in front of the meter. These are terms that get thrown about all the time, but what do they actually mean? And what meter are we even referring to? Well, in short, we're referring to your energy meter, the one in your home or your building. The one that ticks over to tell you how many kilowatt hours of power you are and have been using. Imagine that meter is attached to your front door for everybody to see. When you're outside your building, looking at the meter, you are in front of it. Therefore, all the energy that is entering your house from the grid is coming from in front of the meter. Behind the meter just refers to the power that you can use on site without it passing through your electricity meter from the grid. Historically, behind the meter basically meant the stuff inside your house that you could turn on and off. Light switches, kettles, TVs, which would impact your electricity usage. So, in order to reduce your energy consumption, you would just turn stuff off. Easy. However, the way we think about and consume energy has changed and is continuing to change, becoming more flexible and dynamic. Now imagine you've got solar panels on your roof and maybe a small battery storage unit attached to a wall somewhere. Assets that have a positive impact on your energy consumption by allowing you to become more self-sufficient. These assets are also considered to be behind the meter. And we're not just talking for residential purposes here either. Any area that self-sufficiently uses energy in some way such as a large business complex or even a small community with its own microgrid or source of generation, perhaps a wind turbine or two or some other kind of technology, this generation is also behind the meter. Demand side response or DSR is also considered to be behind the meter. And it's worth watching our Energy Academy video on that too, to find out exactly how it works. Anyway, while it's an oversimplification to think of behind versus in front of the meter in terms of size or capacity, it can also help. In front of the meter refers to the grid connected generation that powers your home or business or building via the pylons and cables you see every day. Whereas behind the meter assets tend to be smaller and are used for the purpose of powering a specific space or at least having a positive impact of the consumption of that space. This relates to another key difference. Your energy supplier makes sure that it finds enough power in front of the meter to keep your lights on, but you've largely got no say in where that power is coming from. You can, of course, enter into agreements with some suppliers whereby you state a preference, perhaps by agreeing that you want your home to be powered as much as is possible by renewable generation. But regardless of stipulations, your supplier buys that energy from the wholesale market before selling it on to you. So maybe your supplier has bought the electricity to power your home from a combined cycle gas turbine or from a massive coal plant or wherever. In the majority of cases, the supplier will simply find the most cost effective way of meeting your demands and getting the electricity to where it's needed. Having behind the meter assets gives you autonomy over where your energy is coming from. There are also increasing opportunities for behind the meter assets to enter into markets themselves so that their owners are able to profit from these assets. Often these will be pulled together by aggregators who then decide which markets they should enter based on their forecasts of price across the day. Alternatively, people and businesses can use an energy management system or EMS, which will also optimize behind the meter assets for cost saving or profit. Behind the meter assets are set to play an increasingly prevalent role on our journey towards net zero. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.